Hey, welcome to Destinations. Today we're going to look at pre-flight in this Cirrus G7 SR20. So let's uh, let's take a look and see how easy or hard this is to do. Always love that. All right, here we are sitting inside the the cabin. We're going to go bat to switch on. Our primary flight display comes up, and we do not hear the avionics cooling fan. That's how we know that isolation diode is working. Takes it a minute to come up. While we're doing that, we can look for our documents here. Velcroed in this corner, we got our airworthiness and registration. I checked it. The registration is behind the airworthiness. That Velcro's in that pocket. And then in the back seat, we have our pilot operating handbook with our weight and balance in it. So that's our AROW. That's our onboard documents to make sure we're good with documents. And this is dark because we're in a dark hangar. But it's coming up and I can see that we have 24.2 volts. We're looking for a minimum of 23, so that's good. So now bat tube comes on, we'll be able to see things a little bit better. Hear the fan come on. And we're gonna lower the flaps. One click, two clicks and they display. We don't have a light anymore, we've got the display. Check my fuel quantity, everything is, there we go, now we're set. Fuel quantity showing 55 gallons, so we're full. We'll verify that when we look in the tanks. And I'm gonna turn on the lights and get out and verify the, um, the lights in the stall warning horn here. So I'm gonna go strobe, landing light, ice, probe heat, or pedo heat. Got a, a position light or nav light and our landing light, and the pedo heat is nice and toasty. Got an ice light, another ice light, nav light, landing light, strobe, all good. And then we check our stall warning, with our little stall warning checker device. It says stall, and you can hear the stick shaker. So the G7 has a stick shaker. So now we'll turn all that off. Okay, so after we turn off our Batmaster switches, we come down here and we check alternate static, check our starter uh, disable switch, come back, find our egress hammer, and confirm that our fire extinguisher is installed. So those are some extra things uh, that we do on the checklist in the pre-flight. So here we are on the left side of the fuselage, and much like every other airplane you've ever pre-flighted, we're gonna just walk around, look at things, check fuel and oil, Okay, yep, that looks good. Blue, no water, no contaminants. We'll dispose of that properly. And walking down the fuselage, just checking our antennas are attached. Uh, the parachute cover is intact and static port is clear. And everything looks good. No obvious physical damage. Looks good. Static wicks. Free motion in here. We've got this weight that just need to make sure that weight is there and it's spring loaded back to center. On the, the rudder, we're looking at these cotter pins. I can't really see that one up there, but it is there. It says no push, but that means just don't move the airplane. We can move it side to side a little bit and it's spring loaded back to center. And I can see that cotter pin. See that cotter pin. Don't touch that piece. Don't even look at that piece. And cotter pin looks good, cotter pin looks good. Same on the elevator on this side, spring loaded. Real hard to see the attach points because they're kind of buried internally. But we can see that counterweight is in place. Looks good, no damage. Hasn't been drug over another airplane in a hangar. Looks good. All of these screws are in holding that panel in. Antennas are attached. Static port is clear. Let's see if I missed anything. Looks like I'm doing a pretty good job. I'm sure you guys will tell me what I missed. And I'm gonna check the flap assembly here and also get a little another fuel sample here. And that's blue, no dirt, no water, no trash. And looking at the 
looking at the hinge attach points and then on the aileron here free motion and there's a on the underside of this there is a hole in the aileron and there's a bolt and that bolt needs to be safetyed in place that's the aileron stays on does not fall off bolt so big fan of that more static ports wing tips attached temperature probes are in place fuel vent is clear no no mud daubers no mud no trash in it you can also check the the flap hinges from this side too sometimes a little bit easier fuel check visually and that is full almost overflowing we'll sump it again get a little more fuel out of it it's blue no no water no trash in it that's good it's a little bit tricky you got to crawl around a little bit here to check these uh, brake indicators you can check the tire and then also under here on these brakes inside these holes there's a sticker. It'd be easier if we had better light, but if that sticker goes black, you need to take it to a Cirrus authorized maintenance shop and have them inspect the brakes. So if we over brake, do a lot of hard brake landings, we can over temp the brakes and those temperature stickers will turn black. All right, moving up to the nose here. All of our fasteners look to be in place. Check the oil. When you open this, you want to block that so that doesn't hit real hard and chip the paint. All right. It's showing right at six. Wipe it down. And check it again. It's still showing six, good. When I tighten this up, I just barely do it, just tiniest bit finger tight, because it will tighten as the engine runs and get tighter over time. And every now and then you gotta get a pair of pliers out to undo that. All right. All right, how are we doing on our checklist? I think we're doing well. All right, air intake is clean. Air filter is clean. These screws here on either side of the prop are very important. And then I like to just touch all the fasteners and then gently run my fingers down all the surfaces of the prop, make sure nothing's loose, no sharp edges, and then just a little tug on the prop just to make sure nothing wobbles. Back up and take a look at the strut. That looks good, nose tire looks good, the part of it that I can see. More struts. If you're going to do an external power start, that's where you would hook that up. And there is another fuel sump under here. It looks like a nickel with a Phillips with a slot screwdriver slot in it. Okay, that's good. Looks good. Okay. So the stall strip is in place. The tire looks good. I'll check this brake. Nope, that's good. The sticker has not turned black. Take the fuel, and that is just a hair under full. That's probably the 55 versus 56 gallons right there. More fuel here. That looks good. It's blue. And tire looks good. It's good. Again, I can check the flap from this side too. Looks good. It's very important to check this pitot tube. It's a big opening in the pitot tube, so you want to make sure there's a little piece of metal in there halfway. Just want to check it top and bottom. That looks good. Static wicks. Aileron again. Bolt is in place. You can check these hinge attach points. And so far so good so i'd say the work walk around on this the airplane looks pretty good no visible signs of damage everything's as it's supposed to be after startup we'll do our run up and all our checklists and check everything else
All right, thanks. Thank you.